Good morning. Here we are at the Denver Zoo. Josh and I just became members earlier this week. And we did come one time, but I wasn't filming because I didn't think a lot of animals would be out and there were a ton out. So I do have some video from then. Uh, and I'm gonna do some new video from today. So join us on our journey through the Denver Zoo. At the entrance to the zoo, they have these really cool statues that are very like life-size, um, the giraffes there. And there is a alligator over here. And there's like a little <laughs> kitty over here. And a big mama kitty, Josh says, is around here, along with another little kitty. I like those. Elephants walking across the bridge from one enclosure to the other. And you can see on the bridge over here, it says Peter and Ella's Crossing. Weight limit, 5,000 kilograms. Or, you can see specifically that it says an elephant or two like minibuses or that many people. <laughs> Josh is counting them up. 72 people or so? Wow, that's, right? that's quite a bit. Tiger enclosure and a gorgeous tiger, huge. I love the multiple levels the targets can get up on. I don't know if you can tell, but there's one right over there. You can see its face. See that one right there? Just moving a little bit. Oh, he or she is on their way back. Hi, buddy. Josh is saying that this one is named Yuri. He was overlooking at the at the board that describes the tigers. This one's doing laps. Maybe just get some exercise in. The sign says it's a seal, but someone over here said it was a sea lion. Yeah. They go back and forth. The different animals. It's just doing laps. Oh no, no, he disappeared. No, he's over there now. <laughs> he tricked me. Oh, it's a warm day today, but being in that water would be very refreshing. Oh, there he goes. That is definitely a sea lion. You can tell from the picture here which is which. The seals are up. They were all laying down earlier. Oh, they're going back to it. They were up and active for like 30 seconds. And just laying back in the sun. It's such a warm day, you think they'd be in the water, but probably went in the water and now they're just having a snooze. Stopped by Edith's ice cream parlor get some Dole Whip. It's actual Dole Whip like you can get at Disney. There are other places in town like Hawaiian places that you can get it and we knew it was here but we went to the when we first got here we went to the place where we had seen it before and it wasn't there but we were looking around and we came over to the ice cream parlor and sure enough there it is so hmm we also have a strawberry version of it too. You can also get that at Disney. But yeah if you're craving Dole Whip come to the zoo. Here we have the long neck cheetahs. Otherwise known as giraffes. Look how big they are. We see these in Animal Kingdom all the time, but we just, yeah, and they've been yeah, close, but I don't know. It feels like these ones are just bigger. Like, I'm sure it's just my imagination. But it's feeding time. And they have an option for you to hand feed the giraffes, but you have to buy tickets for it, which is fine. Now that we're members, we can uh, come and try these things every so often. There's also a giraffe outside the enclosure, just wandering around. We thought there might be another one because there was another door. Two pens were filled. Yeah, two pens were filled, but not the third one. Oh, look at him go. I love watching giraffes run. Just incredible. And Josh was making the comment like, which is more believable, a unicorn or a giraffe? A unicorn is just a horse, right? It's a horn on its head, but it's just a horse. We can all envision a horse. But if you tried to describe this animal to no one who'd ever seen it before, or to someone who'd never seen it before, they'd probably think you were joking. Oh, look at him come over. Oh, wow. Incredible. 
so majestic. Oh, there he goes again. Get some energy. So it's two and two, you notice? It's a warm day, so the lions are lazing about over there. Looks like there's four males. They all have manes. We haven't seen any females. But oh, I think lions are amazing. One of my favorite animals. Look at that tail go. <laughs> One of them's up sniffing the air. Looks so much like my cat when he does that. My cat is a lot smaller than a lion. Some interesting info about caring for the lions and how in captivity they live longer than if they're in the wild because they don't have to deal with scavengers and they get better health care. There's little penguinos! I've always loved penguins. I think they're adorable. Here's another angle where you can see them a little better. Let's zoom in on them. Oh, they're so adorable. They have a lot here too. I don't think I ever knew how many they had. There's quite a bit. Are you gonna go in the water, dude? Come on, dude. Yeah, none of them are in the water. That's kind of weird to me. And we were thinking, maybe it's not hot enough yet. Of course it is. They're from Antarctica. Or these ones are actually African penguins, so they're probably from the, the south of Africa. Here we have the African rock python, and it's right in there. Zoom in on, I think that's the head. It's just kind of like turned back. And then the rest of the body you can see there under that trunk. But yep, definitely the head. <gasps> Hiya! <laughs> well, the snake is being very nice, poking its head around. I'm not sure if it doesn't say what the name of the snake is or if it's male or female on this. But they eat mammals, birds, lizards, fish, and crocodiles, if not eaten by them first. I <laughs> like that. Oh, getting some water. It's like my cat. Here we have the Sudan plated lizard. And there's a couple of them down here. One right there. And then one over there. Here we have the West African dwarf crocodile. Zoom in on that. You can see him right there. Pretty neat. Just chilling. Yeah, he's just chilling out in there. But he has a nice environment though, lots of room to run around in and got his and has his water and it's all fresh coming in over here. So he or she is they <laughs> are leading a uh, good life here and well taken care of in the zoo. Here we have the leopard tortoise. And I like this little sign here. Don't worry, I'm okay. They like to sometimes put themselves on their backs, but they're fine. Uh, there's three of them in here. Two over there, and one right below me here. Hi, little turtle, or tortoise, excuse me. You wanna get your nomenclature wrong? There's a really big one back over there. Yeah, they're pretty huge. But this guy is on the move. Not very fast, but in his turtle-like manner. Here is a garanook, which is a type of antelope, it looks like. Where did it go? There it is, over there. Behind the bush. Or behind this tree. Moving around. There's only one out now. And there can be cranes in this exhibit too, because there is a placard for them, but I don't see any. I think it's just this one creature out here right now. Moving around, look at those really long legs. It's incredible. Here we have the Cape Buffalo, and there's quite a number of them. There's one back there, a whole bunch of them over here. Like, hello. When we were here the other day, there's a, that red hanging thing there. <laughs> One of them kept getting into it to drop out treats or food. These are lesser kudu. And I know that name because whenever we do the Kilimanjaro safaris at Disney World, 
Uh, these are some of the animals you usually see in the safari. There's, there's two over there and one over here. Get a nice side view of the lesser kudu. Very deer-like. I'll show you their placard here. Here's the placard so you can see a little information about the kudu. It's a little anteater. They're doing a live demonstration. That's so cute. Just wandering through the bushes, getting a little bit of time. <laughs> we found out her name is Winnie. <laughs> How old is she? She's four this year. Four. So she's still a younger lady. Yep. Lots of energy. Thinks she can do whatever. Come on. Ready to go back? <laughs> so you'll see Becca kind of letting her explore as she wishes. Um, but whenever that leash gets tight, she'll kind of wait for Winnie to release that pressure and then she'll get some avocado. <laughs> So she's still kind of learning like, oh, when I give in and I stick close to my trainer, that's when I get to go places. <laughs> right now, Beth is just going to hold still and wait for her to <laughs> respond. There she goes. There she is. Let's go. Wow, that's adorable. Here's Ruko, a crane, gray crowned crane. Oh, wow. He's going all out. I know. Look at that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, he's definitely showing off. I love it. God, I love that burst of hair that they have on the top. What an amazing looking creature. All right, here is the black rhino, and one's right over here. I don't, I don't think the rhino's there before. No. Hard to miss. Just hanging out. That is one very spiky, pokey horn that he has there. Are you guys talking about the bunnies? Yeah. One thing we've noticed is every exhibit seems to have a bunny in it, and there are some exhibits where, like, okay, like the you know the kudu aren't going to bother you, but you know if you're in with the lions, I feel like this is a very dangerous place to be if you're a bunny. A little like bunny McNugget. Here we have Colorado State Animal, the Rocky Mountain Bighorn Sheep. That is a female version right there, so obviously her horns aren't as big as the males with the big sweeping horns. But, um, and she's the only one out here. I don't see any others, but she's holding down the fort. She's like, it's my turn. I'm going to go out there and represent my race. She's just hanging out. So cute. I love the way they sit. <laughs> Got some monkeys in here. Right down there. A couple up here. Moving around. <laughs> oh, he's getting closer. <laughs> nice. Wow, they're really close. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, where they move. So agile. Some others out here on the enclosure. One over there to the left on the rocks, and then one to the right by the rope here. Moving along. Is that what they are, Josh? Capuchins? I thought they were capuchins, but I um, hadn't seen the placard yet. That's pretty neat. This looks like a fun place to run around if you're a monkey. Oh, there's one way up there over by that bucket, too. See if I can zoom in on him. Hanging out. It's hard to see, but he's just the upper right of that moving bucket. What's nice is there is a tunnel that the monkeys can move from the enclosure over here to the area over there that's uh, more outdoorsy rather than being the enclosure. Then they can just move back and forth.
as you can see, they have a train here at the zoo, and we just got tickets. For members like us, it's only it's two dollars for a ride. If you're a non-member, it's three dollars for a ride, which really is not that much. And here we go on the train ride. Oh, look, there's horsey rides too. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I loved those when I was a kid at the grocery stores. Although we've been here before, we've never taken the train, so I'm not actually sure what it goes by, if any animals or enclosures or whatever. So this will all be new. Bird exhibits to the right. Condors, eagles, and flamingos in there. We'll probably come hit that in a few. Last time we were here, we were here with a bunch of friends. It was like an adults night. And uh, so there's a lot of drinking and uh, there are tons of people doing this how far could you jump thing, which I think is pretty cool. And then it tells you uh, the peak, it can jump this far, the red panda can jump that far and so on. Here we have the Cenarius vulture. And there's one right over there. You can see just kind of hanging out. Hello, Mr. or Mrs. Vulture. And then there's another one back there. Just behind that kind of raw, or excuse me, the wood. They're just hanging out. All the size of these birds. You know, we're used to like neighborhood birds and they're usually pretty small and occasionally we'll see a falcon and they're bigger and it's interesting to see, but um, it's even more amazing when you see one like this size. This is the primate pamorana, pamorama, panorama, jeez, I can't say the word, primate panorama section. I love how it looks like a little African village, which is cool. This has been here 25 years or so. Started in 1996 is when this panorama happened, and essentially you start this way. There's some enclosures over here. Let's go check those out. There's some kind of monkey up there. Oh, that's going outside. Or actually, I don't know if you can go outside from there, but it's a spot in the sun. And then there's also a monkey back here in that tub. You can see it. Uh, I think that's the white-faced sake back there. And I'm not sure what the other one is. Here we have a couple of ring-tailed lemurs. We were looking for them outside, but turns out they're hanging out inside. Here's some info about the ring-tailed lemur. But yeah, they are pretty adorable. They communicate through sounds and scent marking. Males get into stink fights, <laughs> rubbing their tails through scent glands and wafting the smell towards rivals. <laughs> I love it. Ah, uh, they're like yeah. frat guys. <laughs> this is a golden lion tamarind. Wow, so gorgeous. Hi. <laughs> so nice to see you. Because the monkey's a little as it is. Ooh, orangutan. Moving through the trees. Well, moving through the branches on the ground. Here's some info about the orangutans. I'm calling them that because I've been listening to a book recently, the uh, Crazy Rich Asians trilogy, and uh, one of the characters is bringing. Um, some focus on the orangutans and that's how they pronounce it there and I don't think they're being pretentious I really do think that that's how people in other parts of the world pronounce it we say orangutans and they say orangutans you know if you have an accent that's exactly how it would come out <laughs> orangutan plane over there oh and there's another one crossing paths typically the age of sexual maturity for a Okay. Um, another room. So this one playing with the blanket over there. <laughs> like a little kid. She's settled in over there making a blanket fort is what it looks like. Uh, and a little bedded area. Just maybe getting ready for a nap. And then there's another dude up there. Just hanging out. Climbed all the way up there. That's their slide. She's going up the rope. So I 
<laughs> dragging a blanket. In their lifetime, they may never even come down to the ground once. Here we have the lowland gorilla. He's just kind of hanging out, probably taking a nap. They have a number of them here. Let me show you. They have a little placard over here talking about all the ones who could be out. Cal, Gunther, or Mabelli. Here's some info about the lowland gorilla. He changed positions a little bit, but not too much. Definitely taking a nap. We came into the bird enclosure, and oh, there's one flying. That's cool. And uh, yeah, we need to move away from the door because it's like an airlock system. We we bought some food. It was three dollars to buy some nectar, and we're only supposed to feed the ones who are chest high or above because we don't want them to be on the ground like over here, for example. And is Josh feeding one? Yeah, I got that one when we walked in. I love them hanging upside down like that. And Josh has some nectar in his hand. We were told to hold it tightly like an ice cream cone, but they're paper cups, so you can't hold it too tightly, but otherwise the birds will steal them from you. But no, I guess that one's not, no takers there. Oh, here comes a little bird to eat from the nectar cup. Oh, come on, little dude. Oh, <laughs> he needs to move closer. Oh, there he goes. Oh, awesome. He's eating from the cup. Yay! That's wonderful. They're trying to train them not to be on the ground and to stay in the trees. So we're not allowed to feed the ones on the ground because of course they could get stepped on and we don't want they don't want them to be trained to be on the ground. So we're, that's why we're only supposed to feed the ones that are waist high or above. You get it? Oh, cool. I cannot hold this much longer, but I want to feed the birds. We didn't get this on video, but we, I was feeding one of the birds in that last video on my tippy 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 toes. And um, I wasn't holding the cup as firmly as I needed to be according to the instructions and one of the birds stole the nectar and pretty much finished it all and then threw the cup on the ground. So I did pick it up and throw it away. And thankfully they do have a place to wash your hands in here because I got nectar all over my hands. But uh, that was pretty funny and I got outwitted by a bird. <laughs> Bird having a good time in the bird bath. Yay! <laughs> and then climbing up. They like to climb on these uh, fences. <laughs> Yay! We were said if they climb on you, that's okay. You're not supposed to touch them or try to grab them, but uh, <laughs> but it's fine. And they also said if you feel uncomfortable with that, then the keepers inside can help you. I would not. Yeah, I would not feel uncomfortable with that. I would feel it a good luck, like a good luck charm to have a bird crawl on me. That red one up there is a blue striped lorry, and his name is Captain America, and he's 21 years old. He's very good looking. He's the only red one in here that we've seen. The rest of them all have similar colors. <laughs> wow. He's having a good time running along the ropes. <laughs> There's a couple over here hanging out in the sprayer. Enjoying a rain bath. I assume I didn't see any um, of the placards, but I assume they're probably like rainforest kind of birds. They look like that kind of thing, and they are obviously not in the rainforest, but they brought the rainforest to them. Oh, that's so refreshing. And occasionally we get a whiff of the mist too. It's a hot day, and it feels pretty good. Here's the uh, outside of the Laura Keat adventure that we were just in, so you know what to look for if you come here. Here we see the condor, the Andean condor, and there's one up there. It's hard to see through the mesh, but there you go. It's a little bit better. And looks like he's preening himself. And one over here, also, just kind of hanging out. Here we have the majestic bald eagle. 
hiding up in there. Not really Which hiding. Which is weird because you think they call them bold condors, but because they're actually... Oh, they're so regal looking. He's just hanging out. He hasn't moved since we've been here. This is an enclosure we saw from the train. And we have the American Flamingo. Some of these guys aren't eating enough shrimp. And uh, we have quite a bit of nice color about them. We learned from the uh, Kilimanjaro safaris that the reason why they're pink is because of all the shrimp they eat. They take on that color. They look like shrimps. Not all of them though. Here we have Fernando and Jorge. Um, llamas, we're in the llama landing. One of them is sitting down over there. Which one do we say that was? Fernando? And then over there, he's standing up eating. A little bit closer. That should be Jorge. How adorable. I love llamas. We actually have like llama farms, ranches mm -hmm. in town. So sometimes if you're driving the back way between Colorado Springs and Denver, you can uh, see some llamas just out in the fields. They do have animal encounters uh, where you can meet the animals. I haven't looked into it. Like I said, we're relatively new to this, so I want to find out more about it, but I'd love to meet a rhino. But there's just some guests out there kind of touching the rhino, and uh, the workers are feeding the rhino. It's uh, pretty cool. I'm envious of those guys. Someday. I'll get some video of it if we meet a rhino. Here we have the river hippopotamus, and the river hippopotamus is not that hard to find. <laughs> Last time we were here, we were watching him or her eat. I'm not sure if it's boy or girl. And she had these giant teeth. Um, like Josh was kind of comparing it to like his, the length of his forearm was uh, how big the teeth were. Just hanging out. She's got this nice little pond over here she can get into if she wants to. And, uh, but no, she's just hanging out in the sun right now. Oh, she's huge. You can see why hippos are the number one killers of humans in Africa. Three miles per hour. Yep, because they can catch you. That's pretty fast. Yeah. That's pretty fast. Faster than I can run. 20 yeah. miles per hour is Probably pretty quick. Me, yeah. A couple of rhinos in the water. Ah, those are pretty cool and look super refreshing in that water right now. If I was a rhino, I'd be in the water too. They are pretty adorable. Some more monkeys. I'm not sure what kind these are. I don't see a placard for them. Maybe I just missed it. But they're hanging out near the rhinos in kind of the same water area, right? Like here's the water area and the rhinos are over to the right. And they're just hanging out in the tree over here. There's an elephant way back there from where we are. I'm zoomed in. Oh, two elephants actually. And um, oh, turns out the monkeys are gibbons. And uh, there's the elephants back there. We're going to go around and see if maybe we can get a closer look. Here we are, a little closer to the elephants. Ooh, they were on the move. One there, and there's one over here, kind of hidden in the trees, but it is coming around. Oh man, I think elements, or elephants are so majestic. They are just cool creatures. And you see videos online of them just doing very social things with each other. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi, buddy. No. <laughs> He's coming to say hi. That was pretty nice. Here we have some fishing cats, and fishing cats love water. And there's Jonas, is the name of this kitty here. Just hanging out there. <laughs> it's funny, they have this entire enclosure here. And they're <laughs> sitting on the <laughs> flat rolly chair. Actually, it's not rolly. Anyway, this one is being cared for. She hurt her paw. The great hornbill. And there he is up there. He or she. Wow, that's very majestic looking too. So many birds just stand there looking regal. 
And great, it's in the name, Great Hornbill. This is the otter enclosure, but there's no otters in it right now because uh, the otters just had a baby, so they have an otter cam video here feed that you can see. And there's mama, and then you see the little baby right there. Oh man, I wish we could see the little baby one, but gotta be safe. <gasps> Mama's moving. Oh, so cute. I love otters so much. I just think they're most adorable creatures. They talk about religious beliefs protecting elephants, and they have uh, Ganesh. And there's a Ganesh statue over here where people have left coins for luck. I like um, all those down here, but then they also have ones balanced, and I particularly like the ones balanced on the finger right there. And that's pretty interesting. I feel like a dimwit because usually I film our food so you can see what it was like. So um, here's the remnants. Josh and I got a uh, crispy orange chicken and we got half fried rice, half um, white rice, and then a good amount of crispy orange chicken. It was great because it was kind of a light crispy, not really heavy, heavy fried rice breaded. With pineapple with pork. Yeah, and the fried rice was pineapple with pork fried rice. Uh, this empty plate here was five pot stickers that are grilled as opposed to deep fried. Those were very good too. And then Emily got the bulgogi fries mm -hmm. that also have, uh, so it's kimchi french fries, which were fresh. They had just made them fresh and some uh, Korean barbecue on there. And then we got a soda too. Here we have the back train camel and he or she is way far in the back there. Yeah, they kind of have pointy like humps there, which is cool. Just hanging out in the shade. I feel you, camel. They have a 4D theater here, and they're showing uh, Happy Feet 4D Experience and Tiny Giants 4D Experience with squirrels from the BBC. We got tickets for the Tiny Giants one. It was $2 a person because we're members. Otherwise, I think it's three, so it's even not that expensive. Uh, but I'm not sure what the 4D means. Usually it means that there's uh, some kind of like um, special effects in the theater itself. So we'll see. I'm sure I can't video any of it because I'm sure it's copyrighted, but I'll tell you about it afterwards. Here it is, just a very, very tiny little theater. Just a few seats. We're the only people in here right now. There's a nice big screen there. It's 3D. We have our glasses here. But, um, so that's why it looks a little blurry right now. They're showing fun animal facts while we're waiting. Seen that many. I like little trivia like that. Oh, I love the squirrels and chipmunks. They're adorable. Just got out of the 4D theater and we all liked it. It wasn't very long. How long was it actually? Now that I think about 15 it. Minutes maybe? Yeah, about 15, 15 minutes. minutes. And uh, it was about a chipmunk preparing for the winter and having to fight off another chipmunk who's trying to steal his acorns. It's pretty good, you know, for two bucks, not bad at all. I recommend doing it because there are definitely 4D effects that you have in there, which are very surprising when they happen. So it's uh, interesting to see people's reactions when uh, the 4D effects happen, including ours, because we've never done it before. So yeah, I recommend it. I think you'd enjoy it if you did it, and it's not that expensive. Done with the zoo for the day. We were there for four and a half hours, almost five hours. Not too bad. Got a lot of, and it started getting really hot, so we were pretty ready to go. Um, I wanted to say more about, so we became members this week, like I mentioned before, and um, last year we were members of the um, Denver Museum of Nature and Science, and uh, that ended in May, and uh, this year we decided we would go with the, the zoo, and then maybe next year we'll do the botanical gardens, because we like, you know, giving back to those local um, you know, local museum and local zoo, local botanical gardens, and we enjoy going every so often. What I found was that uh, we, after we went to the museum a bunch of times, we didn't go as much afterwards because uh, they did have some traveling shows that would come through, but most of it was the same. And so we went and looked at their mineral area. They have like rocks and minerals at the at the um, museum, and I thought, you know, it's nice, but I don't need to see that again for a while. Whereas 
I'm happy to see elephants every single time I go there. So I think the zoo is going to be a good purchase because I feel like that's going to be better returns for us. Anyway, to give an example of the cost, so uh, it, we did the uh, zoo for two and it was uh, $95 for two people. So Josh and I total, $95 total. And um, with that, we get the zoo entrance on any time. We get discounts for any of their special events. Like they do a, uh, sorry, my eyes a little watery. Um, they do a zoo lights during Christmas, for example, and they do have adult nights, but so your tickets for those are cheaper because you're already a member. Uh, tickets for the various attractions, like I mentioned, the there's a uh, carousel, there's a the train that we did today, there's the 4D movie, there's a Stingray experience. All of those are discounted rather than being uh, like $3, it's $2, which is not a lot, but you know, it's a discount. It'll add up after a while. You get 10% off of food and 20% off of merchandise at the store. So I think it's worth it for us. They have different packages that you can get as well. There's a family one where um, it's like two adults and then, you know, however many kids you want to bring along. Uh, that's, I think that was like 160 or so, um, which isn't that bad. Like if you want to take your kids there for something to do, that's, that's a great thing. Um, and, and it'll pay for itself very quickly with the number of tickets you don't have to buy. Oh, sorry. I put some block on early and I think some of it's getting in my eye now. <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining us on our journey through the zoo today.